Hello, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa. We are back. Our stock has been stained. It's probably darker than we want it, but that's okay. What we're going to use today, we're going to show you how we do a sand in finish. What we're going to use today is our custom oil. Uh, it's a clear gloss hand rubbing stock finish and we need a small container and some 220 grit paper wet dry so that it won't fall apart as we sand now the first couple of um, coats of this that we're going to put on are going to pretty much soak in they're going to be used as a sealer but nonetheless we want to put a little in the cup here and the whole idea here is that we're going to saturate the stock with this and at the same time we're going to sand it which should lighten up the uh, uh, stain some because we'll take some of it off the surface but what we want to do is we want to get the paper wet and we want to sand this stock in a circular fashion Create a slurry. In other words, the sand that, uh, yeah. The the stain and wood that we sand off in the sanding dust stays in the stack. Or on the stock as the finish is being absorbed. The idea here is to use that sanding dust to fill the pores in the wood so that we end up with a smooth finish with no um, little like pin pricks of uh, pores showing through. So we just proceed along the, the stock. Let it soak up as much of the finish as it will. Have all the finish at once. Soak it in there real good. Because that's going to be our sealer. You just keep sanding lightly. Don't have to put a lot of pressure on it. Just keep sanding lightly in a circular motion. Get the sanding dust to work into the pores of the wood. And we're going to get that all finished. Everything covered. I'm going to take our an acid brush again and paint some finish on the raw wood on the edges and in the inletting so I cover everything make sure everything is sealed it'll help it to keep from absorbing moisture or oil this oil works its way from the interior workings if the stock is sitting on its on the butt and uh, speaking of the butt you know put finish on there too and seal the wood when the wood has absorbed as much of the finish as it's going to We'll take a, oh, you can use a rag or, since I, and we wipe it across the grain. What we're trying to do is make sure that we're taking that sanding dust 
and letting it remain inside the uh, pores of the wood so that it fills those pores. It's own stock filler. So we wipe that lightly and we're starting to see a little bit of uh, uh, figure come out of that. Although this is a very plain stock, there's not going to be much figure in it. That's going to be good for the first coat. We'll put that aside again until it dries. In other words, until tomorrow, probably. Or we could probably do it again later tonight. And we'll do the same thing with Corin. Your first couple of coats, you're not going to see much in the way of buildup. It's not going to be shiny. It's not going to be particularly pretty real quick because what you're doing is you're actually putting a seal coat on there and sealing it. Now there's other things you could do. You could cut your finish uh, with uh, oh, whatever uh, they recommend to clean up with. Usually it's uh, uh, mineral spirits or something along that line. And you can cut it 50-50 and use those first two coats as sealing coats. And they will be thinner and they'll actually get deeper into the wood. But this is the way I like to do it. I guess just hard-headed. I've been doing it this way for years and this is my preferred method. So, we've got both those pieces now set aside and we'll let them dry and come back and do it all again. And this is going to be a uh, process that you repeat over and over again until you get a finish that you really like. Um, I'd say probably minimum, minimum five or six coats. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is I never take my used oil or my used finish and put it back into the uh, can with the new stuff. Uh, basically because this has been contaminated with uh, by dipping it in there with sawdust and uh, stain. So I'm going to pour that into a separate can and use that the next time. And there we go. We got our first our first coat of finish on, on the stock. So be back with you next time uh, when this is dried and we put another coat on and we'll show you step by step how it looks and how it starts sealing and the finish starts building up and coming out. Okay, Alpha Charlie Papa, we're ready to put our second coat on. Our first coat is dry. And it's pretty much soaked in. As you can see, it's still very flat. There's no shine to this at all. So we're going to take the leftovers from yesterday. has been contaminated and we'll add some some new finish to it and once again we use our 220 grit paper wet dry paper and this will be our second coat which is probably going to soak in just as much as the first coat did. As I said, this is, this is pretty much acting like a sealer now. Oh, you can't see that, can you? Let me get down there. There we go. That's better. Once again, we're 
sanding in a circular motion, creating a slurry of sanding dust and finish. So we'll work into the pores of the wood. So after this coat, which should seal the uh, wood pretty well to where it won't keep just uh, absorbing the finish, we should uh, get to a point where we've got uh, finish starting to build up on the surface, which is exactly what we want to do. And we want to take a another paper towel here. And once again, wipe off the excess. And we're starting to see a little bit of shine, certainly more than we had. Let me set that aside once again to dry. And we'll come back and do it again. I don't know that we'll show you every coat we put on. It might be a bit of overkill and boring besides. But now you have an idea of how to do it. It's called a sand it in finish. Again, you're, you're using the sanding dust in a slurry with the finish in order to fill the pores of the wood so that you end up with a good uh, finish without any little pin pricks in it and it's a it's a really good technique uh, a lot of really good gunsmiths use it and uh, it's something that you can add to your uh, repertoire <laughs> how about that fancy words uh, of uh, tricks and of the trade and provide a finish that is smooth on the surface and extends into the wood where it has absorbed the finish. So that's it for this time. We'll uh, decide later on whether or not we're going to come back and show you the third coat, but we'll certainly try and uh, show you one of the finished coats once we get there. Okay, so this is the old singing gunsmith. Signing off once again, saying happy trails. Happy trails to you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.